of the many enemies arrayed against the last city. Few were more dangerous than Savathun, Hive God of Cunning. We dealt with her forces in the past, but her cruelest trick was infiltrating the Vanguard itself in the guise of one of our own, the Warlock Osiris. Her scheming led to something we once believed impossible. Lucent Hive, raised by ghosts, now wielded the light against us. Our only hope was to uncover just how Savathun had stolen the light. To do that, we would have to battle our way through her throne world, a realm of illusions and deceit. With the Witch Queen involved, nothing could be taken for granted. Our mission was to infiltrate the Throne World's Apothecary and retrieve a powerful relic. Using our mastery of darkness, we could see into the relic's past and uncover the Witch Queen's secrets. Eris, we're in position. Where are we headed? Your destination lies deep within the Fortress Guardian in the Apothecary Wing. There you should find a particular shard of crystal. Before her loosened transformation, Savathun was in the custody of the Awoken, securely bound within a crystalline cell. Or so it seemed. So this crystal is a piece of her former prison, which means it's likely on her when she stole her life. Yes. My source believes the events leading to her escape are intrinsically linked to the mystery before us now. Eris says we have to seek out the aberrant paths. So what looks aberrant around here? How did you do that? It's like you created those platforms out of thin air. Eris, what's the situation? The Guardian is en route to the object in question now, Commander. Just as useful as the last one. Now we need to find a lock to smash open. The Witch Queen may have recast her realm in a loosened sheen. But remnants of dark architecture still lurk underneath. And the Guardian's new ability reveals these hidden remnants. Yes, Ikora explained. Why can't we use the light to achieve the same result? The light may be a powerful force, but when dealing in illusions, it has proven insufficient. 
It is the mind that must bend to see the truths hidden here. Thus, only darkness can show the way. My only fear is where that way will lead us in the end. Guardian, let's focus. To find the way forward, we need a sword and something to smash with. crystal could very well be the clue we've been looking for. The crystal revealed to us what we had refused to imagine. The Traveler itself granted Savathun the light. It reached out to our greatest foe and offered grace. For many, this marked a time of great uncertainty. A betrayal. Facing the truth and coming to terms with our doubts strengthened the vanguard for the fight ahead. Whatever the Traveler's motivations, in the end, we had to rely on each other. Ironically, it was Savathun, Hive God of Deception, who revealed the true face of our common enemy, the voice in the darkness, and the architect of humanity's collapse, the Witness. Osiris's time under Savathun's thrall granted him a glimpse of a secret that she withheld from the Witness for centuries. A powerful artifact, known as the Veil, was hidden away on the planet Neptune. 
with Savathun off the board, the witness would soon arrive to launch its assault against the Traveler. Armed with this vital secret, we now had a fighting chance. <laughs>